It's my life. When I started this channel, it was supposed to be a van life channel, remember? And I was gonna go and find some winter sun. And look at me now. I am not in a van and there's no winter sun. I'm back home and it's raining, it's pouring. And Dean, my van, is still at the garage and there's about three mechanics looking at Dean at the moment and I'm getting daily updates and I'm hoping to pick up Dean soon. Now, I'm home and I'm feeling my old procrastinating self coming back again. So I just wanted to tell you about my week, how boring a week without the van can be and how quickly you fall into a trap of not doing anything, of being really immobilized by, by nothing happening, to be quite honest, and not being very proactive either. But I still have my YouTube channel that keeps me busy and I'm very happy about that. And I got message the other day saying like, oh, if you reach a certain level on YouTube, then you are accepted to the YouTube partner program. So I thought like, oh, I'd better check, uh, you know, where I am in that uh, road to maybe making some money, but at least being acknowledged by YouTube. I don't know about the country that you live in, but we have a saying, you wait for a bus half an hour and nothing arrives. And then all of a sudden, three buses arrive at the same time. Well, my past week was a bit like that. Let's start with day one, where I'm going to check whether I have been accepted by YouTube into their partner program. Day one. So what I'm looking for ideally is um, a thousand subscribers and 3000 watch hours. At least that's what the email said. Day two, um, got the subscribers, uh, thank you very much. Uh, still waiting for the watch hours. It's wait, wait, wait. Huh. Another day, another phone call from the garage. Dean's not finished, but they're nearly there. So uh, they keep me hanging on and it's getting a bit tedious. But hey, and in the meantime, I really don't feel like doing anything like feeling. I don't feel like leaving the house, seeing anyone. I just want to get my van back and I want to get traveling again. So uh, can you hold on with me? Can you feel the boredom? Okay.
Oh, well, let's see if it's a case of the uh, third time lucky. Well, there you go. I'm a happy boy. What can I say? And now, off to the barber. Finally got the go ahead to pick up uh, the van and uh, best birthday present I could have actually wanted for, dreamed of. It's my birthday. I've got YouTube acknowledging that I'm actually a content creator and I got my van back. Let me go and pick up Dean and then I can go or we can go traveling again. So, if you want to know the definition of happy as a pig in mud, then this is it. Finally got my van back. I've got Dean back and that means I can go on the road again. I would like to thank you for watching this boring movie. I know it was a bit tedious but it was a bit lengthy. But hey, uh, be part of my life and sometimes my life can also be boring. Van life can be boring too. I am really honest about that. But the alternator stroke engine problems are now fixed. I'm not going to get into detail how exactly they fixed it because they fixed it like the Spanish guy in a roundabout way so that I can move and drive and you know feel comfortable that um, the um, batteries batteries plural are charging the only thing I don't know is will it be working as much as I want it to <laughs> because that's what a lot of people have said like oh it'll be working now uh, you know you can bet your bottom dollar on it and then a hundred kilometers down the road there's lights flashing on my dashboard but okay let's stay positive it's still my birthday i am now off to see some friends get some quality cake and uh, celebrate my three absolutely my three um achievements today and next week you see me it'll be somewhere else on the road, hopefully with a nice adventure. Mm -hmm.